objective. So algorithm and the settings, basically that is what you need to do for the automatic tracking. And for the semi-automated and the manual tracking, I will show you how to do it. Somehow it's still here. I remember I already deleted it, but it appeared again. So I'm going to delete it again and show you how to do the manual tracking or semi-automatic tracking. So I just select and delete. So remember, if you have a track, under the edit tracks, you have the, the options for mouse selection. So here we are on the track. So whenever I select an object, it always select the whole track. But if you just want to select this object at this specific time point, you can use the object. Like here so you see not only the object is highlighted the track is not highlighted so if you select the object and you delete here it will only delete this object at this current time point it will not delete the whole track like I just did so if you want to delete the whole track you have to change to the track and select it and delete, uh, delete like this Okay, so here, let's say if my automatic tracking is finished, then there is some missing uh, object. Now in here, I can use the semi-automatic or manual functions to, to track my object. So first one I want to introduce is the semi-automatic tracking. So basically, you have to go to the time points where this object uh, appear in your image. So for this case is the first time point. But sometimes it this object only appears uh, in the middle so you have to change to another time point to start from. So here I'm just using the frame one. And you have to also do the manual segmentation which is to create a point. So here for this object, I'm just going to shift and the left click. So now I have a spot on this object for this object detection at this time point. And you can see there is a option here to create track. This is where we can do the semi-automatic uh, tracking. Click this function and specify the channels you want to use. Then here, as you can see, we have the spot detection estimated diameter already uh, match to this uh, spot we just created. And here you can see the similar setup for the tracking algorithm. So if you remember what we used before, then here is auto regressive motion, maximum distance is five, and the gap size is two. Then end the time points, we set it to the end of the time lapse data, which is 45. Then we just click OK. Then based on the settings, Imaras will retrack this spot automatically. So combine the manual uh, spot, uh, add, add spot, manual adding spot, and uh, automatic tracking, which is the semi-automatic tracking. So now you can see we have this uh, track complete. All right, so you can, you know, uh, in the same time, you can add multiple uh, spots and use this function, multi-select. Multi-select this spot you just created and you can create a track. So you can do either a single one or multiple ones using this function. Or even if there is some already uh, created uh, tracks, but you want to re retract them, then you can still click on them and uh, try to modify these numbers just for 
for the specific ones. But usually you want to keep all the same. So, so maybe there is for some uh, special applications. But you have the ability, to, the capability to do this using these functions. Another one is the fully uh, manual uh, tracking. So here, let me delete this one again. So fully manual tracking usually uh, is for, for example, if you have a bright field, bright field images, which the automatic uh, detection or tracking algorithm in Imaris is very difficult to do. Uh, basically, it's not related to the tracking, but it's because related to the segmentation. So for the bright field images, for example, the spot and the surface algorithm in Mars may not be able to detect the object uh, correctly or accurately because the, the intensity difference is not between the signal and the background is not as good as in the uh, uh, fluorescence images. So usually for the bright field images, Imaris cannot use spot or surface to detect the object uh, in a good way. In that case, if you want to track your bright field cells, then that result may not be good as, as well. So in that case, you might want to use just the start from the manual tracking. So here under the same tab, you can see there is an option, auto connect to, connect to select spots. So if you send, if you go to the time points where your object uh, appear in the, first, in, in the first place, then enable this option, enable this option. And also still the same, you just uh, add the spot manually. So here, hold the shift, left click, and once I add a spot at this time point, it automatically jump to next time points. Then you can continuously uh, add in spots like this. So as when I add a spot, you can see Imaris try to connect the tracks already between different time points. So you can continuously add in spots manually until the last time point. Okay, so like this, like this. Okay, so if in the previous uh, time points, you think you, have, you can make better detection, then you want to delete it and then redo it, you just uncheck this option and uh, select it. Then select the object only, select the object only and delete, All right? So this, object will be deleted, then you can redo it again for this time point. Oh, it's disconnected. Oh, it's okay. If it's disconnected, then just happens we have the, the edit, edit uh, errors here. So here I'm also going to show you how to, you know, connect the disconnected uh, tracks in the edit uh, track. So here, if you want to, I can continue. So just continue to until the finish, then this result will already in the statistic will be added to the statistic here. Will be added to the statistic here. So object here, here, this is the result. So will be included here in real time. So here uh, I mentioned about the edit track is where we can edit the result. So let's say for example, uh, because this one was discontinued when doing the manual tracking, so Imaris consider this as a two individual tracks, but actually it should be from the same track. So we can try to connect the track in the edit track uh, tab. So here you can see this uh, track view 
and we have so many tracks in our images. So here, in order for our users to focus on the tracks they want to edit, we have this focus track options, which only display uh, 16 tracks out of the total, it always displayed 16 or 15 tracks out of the total number of tracks. So if you want to focus on the track you selected, uh, we can multi-select these tracks and uh, tell Mars to rebuild around the selection. So you can see the yellow one highlighted is the ones we select and uh, there is another uh, 13 tracks around it which also display here. Okay, but if you want to, for example, show the whole track, the whole track in the image and take a snapshot, you can uncheck this option and it show you everything. Then sometimes for the, the leading niche algorithm, we can see the division in the track view. So sometimes our users want to take a snapshot of this track view and show it in the presentation. So we can use this button. To, to take a snapshot of this track view after you edit the result. As you can see, we can save as a TIFF or, or SVG image format. So you can choose whatever format you want. All right, so here, so how to reconnect these two tracks? So very easy. I already select these two tracks. Here, we have three buttons. Then use this button, connect to selected object. So now we can connect these two tracks together. So it becomes the single tracks instead of two individual tracks, right? So another button is to disconnect. So if you want to disconnect a track and reconnect it with another one, then we can also, we can use this uh, button. So for example, here, these tracks, let's say if these two tracks is are actually not the same track but individual tracks, but because of this overlap in the object, then in Maris make the uh, error, then if you want to correct it, we can uh, select these tracks and review around the selection. So here, instead of the whole track, now I'm going to use the object. So here, I just select this specific object in this specific type point. Then let's say I want to uh, disconnect this track from this type point. I can use this button. Sometimes because of this um, object, spot object display is a little uh, bit block your visualization. You can go to the spot and just use the center point to make sure you are at the right time point. Here it looks not, so maybe I just go here. Maybe I want to disconnect from here, not here. So I just select it again and say disconnect. So now these two tracks will be uh, disconnected, disconnected. Then if you want to reconnect it, a specific tracks like this, if these are actually the same tracks or, or these two, whatever, I mean, I disconnect here, so maybe I want to reconnect from here. Or, okay, actually they are not the same, they are not the same continuous tracks. So maybe it's this one and uh, this one. Okay, let me change back. Yeah, so this one and this one. All right. This one at the same time points, there is a, a different object already. So obviously they are not the continuous track. But this one looks quite continuous. So based on your uh, 
judgment. Maybe if you think these two are from the same track, actually, so you can go here and connect like this. Okay, so you can basically edit the track like this, uh, connect or disconnect. Then after you edit the tracks, maybe you will see some uh, cross in the tracks like this, which it, it does not look good. You can reorganize, reorganize the tracks. So you will make it look better. You can have the option to invert it axis as well. Okay, so there is another option here to disconnect all the object, which is a little bit dangerous if you want to use it because it will break up every single object. So uh, usually we, we don't use this button, but if you accidentally click this button to break all the tracks, just don't, uh, don't panic. Uh, before you do any further actions, you just click this one, this button, connect button again, then it will, Imarus will bring it back, right? But if you click on other area after you disconnect all the points, then you will have to probably redo it again manually in Imaris. So this button, just be care, be careful, be careful. Okay, so, so here uh, we have the drift correction, which we will introduce in uh, the next uh, session. Uh, so that is basically this uh, edit track um, tab, what you can do with this edit track 